Today, we're combining painting with embroidery. Some assembly required. Hello! We are back with our protective uh, equipment <laughs> because we'll be painting today. So we saw something kind of like this on TikTok and we were inspired. So basically all you do is you have a canvas and then you paint some simple shapes in the background, then you embroider some snazzy line art on the top. Now, of course, I drew a whole bunch of drawings for this and I really didn't like any of them. And if I'm gonna sit here and embroider a whole entire line art drawing, I would like it to be something interesting. So instead of using the drawings that I did this particular time, just so that we could jump into it, we decided to borrow from a coloring book. So we decided we would sort of simplify some of the drawings in here and trace over like the basic shapes to give us a little something to work with that we might enjoy looking at for a very long time. <laughs> and then this way we can try out this whole process and see if it's awesome. If it's awesome, maybe we'll draw our own things next time. Yeah. We also have the little how to draw cute food book that maybe we could use for tiny smaller painting later. Tiny baby canvases. Yeah. So we'll try the big ones first. And then if we are not completely put off by the whole concept, we'll do a little bit more. Yeah. Emphasis on little. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the first thing that we are going to do is grab our canvases and some paint. Mm -hmm. Here we are. So we have our regular old plain canvases. You can see that, you know, we'll be able to sew through them. <laughs> so the concept that we are working on is paint something like simple. Some sort of shape or something. On the background. So I personally do not like a white canvas, so I'm gonna paint a background, then a shape. Um, then once everything is all dry, we will transfer our line art to our canvas, and then sew it. Basically, we're just gonna be doing backstitch embroidery. And then after that, if we want to add a little bit more paint, we can. I guess we'll sort of see what it looks like. We're both planning to paint certain areas. But first, the background. Oh, it's thin. Oh, maybe you just need, don't it's need right, to. Though. I think it, yeah. it doesn't suit. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm planning to just make like a circle on one half. But I don't know how big I want it, so I'm going to make a tiny little circle and then make it bigger and bigger. I like it. Finally, everything is dry. So the next thing that we're going to do is try to line up our little drawings so that none of the little edges get too close to the edge of the canvas because then we cannot sew it. So we might tape the paper down and then stab it probably depends on how curvy your lines are. Like my lines are not particularly curvy, so I don't need to stab constantly, but certain other areas might be a tiny bit curvy and might need a few, a few more often. So that is what we'll do next. And then stabbing. Here we go. So I am just, well, we both are just poking it with a needle. The person on TikTok was doing it with a toothpick. A toothpick, which I feel like would be way harder. So I'm gonna use the sharp stabby thing. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Hee <laughs> hee! This is fun. This is fun. I don't think this is supposed to be the fun part, but I like it.
That hurt. <laughs> not gonna lie. Okay, let's see. I'm not convinced that you'll be able to tell what this is when I take the paper off. Yeah, you can. I mean, you kind of can. It looks vaguely deer-shaped. So cool. Great. What I think I'm going to do is try to paint the antlers gold. So I do have sort of a sort of goldish embroidery floss. I don't know, we'll see how it turns out. We are ready to sew. Awesome. So we are both starting with black embroidery floss. I have made it so it's not super long so that we don't get it all tangly. Wait, don't we need to tie them up? No, I will show you my new way. So we have it doubled over so there's a loop at the end, right? Okay. So come in. Oh, it's hard to find the little spots. Hit it. <laughs> cool. So we go in to the front, and come out the back. How much should I leave in the back? Just go a in. little. So go in and then come out. And oh, then, then you, just go through? you just loop it through the, wow. the loop at the back. And then ta-da! First stitch. Super impressive so far. <laughs> Yay! Okay. So now we are just going to backstitch as far as we can, and then we'll figure out how to tie a knot um, without having anything to sew through. We'll probably be able to sew back through another stitch and tie a knot onto that. But we'll just go until then, and then we'll see what it's like. All right, backstitching. Here we go. My thread hasn't lasted all that long. That's okay. It's probably because it's backstitch, which I feel like uses a lot of thread. So I'm just gonna go through underneath the other stitches in the back. Make a little knot. Do that a couple times and hopefully... There. And then I can just snip it off. It's cute, it looks like a little lamb. Not for long. Time to switch to gold. And stitch the antlers. These are really cool. I am super excited to paint them. So I will be painting the antlers and the eyes. And I will be painting the dog and I think maybe the strings on the swing. Very cute. This is fun. Okay, let's do it. We thought that the back looks really cool. I mean, the front also looks cool, but there's something sort of abstract, effortless about the back, which is cool. Yeah. All right, ready? Ready to turn it around? Yeah. See our paintings? Go! Shiny! They're so <laughs> cute! This is super fun. I mean, you cannot tell that mine is pink, but it's pink <sighs> in there somewhere. Awesome, very cute. So that's cool, like this is not my normal style, but I kind of like it. I like it for this type of thing. And I am very satisfied. Pretty awesome. Now, we were thinking that we might make these little guys with the cute food book, but now, uh, since this took kind of a long time, 
we are thinking that we'll do that for another video and we might animate it which seems super fun yeah so i highly recommend that you try this if yes. you are feeling a little bit like oh i don't know what to draw on it print something off from the internet find something in a magazine and like trace over it it's it makes it cooler like the weirder you trace it the cooler it will be yeah. i'm thinking and if you've if you haven't been around for a while you might not remember these but like my left hand drawings that i think are really fun and loose and creative that would be really fun to put on these yeah. so maybe next time <laughs> we bust these guys out this would also be really fun to do as like embroidery in a hoop like on an actual piece of yeah. fabric because that's what it is it's just <laughs> rectangular but this was really fun and you should totally do it yeah it was so fun it was, fun. <laughs> it was like Plan it with a whole day in front of you because <laughs> there's a lot of paint drying and stitching and all of that stuff. Yeah, but and sometimes I'm like, I feel like I'm not very good at, you know, painting really well or drawing. But for this, you don't really have to be good at it. All you have to do is get a paper with something on it, stab a canvas, and then just embroider it and then just put some paint on it. That's all. It's pretty straightforward. And also, of course, you're good at painting and drawing. I can't just let that hang there. Everybody is great at painting and drawing. It's just, we don't all have the same style. Okay. So thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. We definitely did. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe because we really appreciate that around here. New videos come out. Every Saturday. <laughs> Every Saturday. So stay tuned for the next one. And until then, be awesome. We'll see you later. Bye.